Well, I usually do my videos inside, but gosh, it's such a nice day today. Here we are near the end of summer. This is when I'm filming this is in August 2022. And I thought, you know, I've got this nice little picnic bench right out in front of the thing. There's a guy across the street, you probably hear it on my little microphone. He's got his generator going, I guess probably for air conditioning. Who knows? All right. Arnold in Denville, New Jersey writes to me and he says, I am currently using two AudioQuest 1000 power conditioners for all but the power amps since they recommend plugging them directly into a wall socket bypassing the conditioners. So getting back to my original question, uh, how much equipment can be connected to your power regenerator then into a single outlet without damaging my equipment? And lastly, is going directly into the wall for the power amplifiers, as AudioQuest suggests, a good idea? Well, it is a good idea if you have those passive power conditioners, absolutely. The AudioQuest uh, power conditioners are passive. They are not active in the way that a regenerator is. And so, yeah, I, I think any passive power conditioner, you'd be better off not plugging a power amp into it because power amps are hungry little beasts and they draw power out of the wall and they need low impedance. It's really important to them to get low impedance. What you don't want is to raise the impedance. So by inserting something in between the wall socket and your power amplifier, which is why they recommend going directly into the wall so that doesn't happen. In a regenerator, that's not true at all. The opposite is true. In a regenerator from PS Audio, you get regulated power. So in a normal wall circumstance, when a power amp says, I need to put out two or 300 watts, it's gonna draw power from the wall, which is going to pull down because of that impedance in the wire, you know, the power conditioner, whatever you have that is raising that impedance and just alone the wire. I mean, imagine, look, look at this building. Just take a look at this. That PS Audio's building is like 31, 30,000 square feet, right? It's a big building. And the power to this building, there's solar panels on top, but they only uh, put power back into the line. The main power comes from way across the street and it comes under here and it gets distributed throughout this giant building. Now, that's bigger than your home, granted, but I think it serves as an example of what we're facing. In your home, power comes in off the power pole, it travels down a wire, maybe several hundred feet, maybe more, maybe a couple thousand feet of wire. That has impedance, resistance, okay? And when you draw current on that, the voltage drops and it starts modulating as you're drawing current. This is that high impedance business that I talked about. With a regenerator, we doesn't matter how much wire you have or how many other things are plugged into that same circuit. We take the power, we regenerate new power, and we store energy like in a giant battery in these big capacitors. So when you demand power, from your amplifier, instead of the power dropping as it would going through this conditioner or through the wires, it's rock solid. Our, our, our output voltage doesn't vary more than about a tenth of a volt, which is how you calculate output impedance. The, the less drop you get, the lower the impedance, real simple. And that makes a huge difference in the way it sounds. And that's why power plants are superior in so many ways to power conditioners, and that's why we don't recommend those so much. Okay, the other part of the question here was, is a P20 power plant large enough for all his equipment? And the answer is yes. So a P20 power plant will take maybe 15% energy loss. So whatever is available from your wall socket, let's say you have a 20 amp wall socket. So 20 amps, it's uh, amps times volts equals potential watts, right? So 20 times 120 is, what is that? 2,400 watts, something like that. Not great at math. 
that's what can come out of the wall. Doing the work that it does, the power plant's going to lose, chew up about 15% of that power, and the rest of it's all perfect, beautiful power for you to use. So yeah, you'll be able to run everything off. Lastly, you say without damaging my equipment. Well, neither a power plant nor the AudioQuest device will ever damage your equipment. In fact, because we provide all the surge protection, it saves your equipment from being damaged. So having too little power will never damage equipment. And the protection on it can certainly save it too. Okay, all right. Thanks for sitting out here in our little lunch spot at PS Audio. I think I'll head in and do some more videos. Take it easy.